Good evening. Um, today I like to talk uh, with you uh, about 50% uh, POS hat um, and 66% POS hats. Um, a lot of people are getting confused um, what a POS hat actually is and um, I like to uh, show you some examples um, so maybe you can understand it a bit better. So uh, what we, all we need is a, a punnet square, um, just prepared one and I like to show you the example of a head albino to a head albino. What, what happens if I breed a head albino to a head albino? You can replace the albino with any other uh, recessive morph like uh, uh, leopard or anery. Um, so head albino to head albino. This means we have, uh, it's not a visual animal, and the albino is only present as a recessive trait. Um, so this is, this is what it looks like, and now we are multiplying every single square to each other, and we are getting this result. So this means this is this 25% of the litter are a visual albino. This 50% of the litter are 100% head albino and these 25% are let's say like a regular wild type. So the challenge is that from the appearance, the head albinos and the wild types are completely similar. They are looking the same. And this is when it comes um, that we call these 75% of the litter, 75%, are sixty six percent pos head because you have the chance two out of three that you grab a head albino and um, yeah that's that's very uh, very important to understand so the sixty six percent doesn't mean that you receive like sixty six percent albinos when you combine uh, such animals it's just the chance that you grab a head albino out of these 75 percent coming to 50 percent uh post heads so um, if we are breeding a head albino to a wild type it looks like this So we have no visual in this litter, 50% are like regular wild types without uh, any uh, hidden genes and we do have 50% 100% head albinos. And um, that's the baby phone of my daughter, by the way. Um, so we hope she continues sleeping. Uh, so we, we do have 50% uh, non-heads and 50% 100% head albino. Again, the challenge is all these animals are looking the same. So the chance is if you pick one animal out of this litter, the chance is one out of two is a head albino, so you have a 50%, it's a 50% pos head albino animal. That's called every animal out of this. Um, and what you need to do is, um, the only chance, in my opinion, you have is um, to prove it. Um, to, to breed it to an albino, for example, and find out uh, whether it's a head albino or not and um, 
this this is the reason why you uh, find the POS heads pretty cheap. Most most of the POS heads are pretty cheap because uh, I mean it's it's obvious uh, you purchase a female uh, a POS head albino for example. Uh, you need to raise her uh, like three, four, maybe even five years um, till you are able to find out um, if you are working with a head albino or not um, that most of the time that doesn't make sense of course there are a lot of combinations um, that makes it more worse to work with such an, an animal and of course it's also a gambling I mean uh, because they are cheap uh, or most of the times they are cheap and you can uh, hit the odds and, and uh, like win the jackpot and maybe you even have like a double head uh, or triple head pos heads uh, and and uh, you receive some awesome uh, visuals i hope this uh, helps a bit to understand uh, i definitely gonna make more videos like this uh, about the genetic because these are very common questions i'm getting a lot and um, Consider a subscription if you won't miss a, a further a video. We uh, try to keep pushing and uh, take take lots of new stuff, um, especially uh, all the litter that are coming up uh, within the next weeks. Um, next litter uh, should be uh, should drop in about four days. I hope you like this video. Share it with a friend who uh, might benefit from uh, this video as well and um, enjoy your evening talk to you soon bye bye